was something that daddy wasn't there. Yeah, that's right. Son still hurting because mama rejected him. Mama loved the other child more than the other, and the son still hurting. Yeah. These childhood issues that we need God to give us guidance to help our children. Come on, yeah. Come on, we can't raise a family without God. Yeah, Come on, huh, a family ain't a family without God. I don't care how many uh, cosmic shows or sitcoms they make paint a perfect picture of a family. It ain't, it ain't a perfect picture without God. That's right. That's right. God got to be the center of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Glory be to God. And, 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 and as I was talking about these, these, these some women, not all women, because I don't want to get nobody offended. But how some women choose these men and know they ain't got no job. That's right. Come on now. Now you talking. Huh? Still living with their mama. Come on now. Driving their mama car. Come on now. But then they want to blame the children. Yes. You just like your dad. And it, it won't let it down, but you chose this. Yes. You brought this into this child life, but then you tell that child that. See, that's why men need to be in a position where you can teach your daughters what to look for in a man. Come on now. Huh? Right. See, that's one thing that I choose to play because, see, a lot of things my daddy didn't show me. But I understood when I got to a place and I had all these questions, I started crying out. Huh? Some came to me and said, cry out. And I know that was the Holy Ghost cry out. And I started crying out. And I said, show me how to be a man. It just came to me. Show me how to be a man. Show me how to be a father. Show me how to be a husband. All right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because that's what's no guidance. But see, the thing about it, you got the world saying, come here and join this. Mm -hmm. Join these, join the Masons. Mm -hmm. Where the brotherhood get together and we, we, we be men. Mm -hmm. Join a fraternity. And you got all these fraternities popping up. Join fraternity because, see, we got men looking for identity, looking to want to belong, looking to fit in. And men can't find, where do we fit in? Come on. Amen. That's true. And for whatever reason, run from the church. Run from the one that can help them. Amen. Being church hurt, even dealing with church hurt, even from the child where the pastor hurt me when I was a little boy. Somebody said something to me when I was in Sunday school that they rocked my world and I ain't been right since. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that how to forgive and move on. All right. mm -hmm. How to get the deliverance. Mm -hmm. How to get the inner healing that we need. Because see these things are still a stupor to us. These things still holding us back and we ain't progressing. Yeah. We can't even move on and function in our lives. We can't even function with our wife and our children because we still stuck. Yeah. What happened way back when? Mm. We need help. Come on now, man. Yes. We need help. Yes. And the answer is God. Yes. I don't care how long we keep searching and looking and everything else, we need God. He created us, He gave us our being, and we need Him. Yes. We need Him to make it. A man can't run a family and be the head of a household without God. I'm going to keep saying it until I drill it in every heart and every mind. You can't do it without God. I'd have found that to be true because I'd have tried it. I'd have tried to do, all, do it on my own. Did it all kind of ways. Amen. And still found it was empty. Yes. Everything I did was vain. Got all the money. Had the biggest house on the block. Four or five cars. Money. And I still was empty. Still had a void. Yeah. Still sometimes looking at my wife twisted. Mm -hmm. Saying it's too hard. It's too hard to be a father. Sometimes wanted to bail out but then had to cry out. Yes. I know God didn't make me like this to bail out. Mm -hmm. God didn't make me to leave. But see men don't understand when the pressures of life come on you. Because it's hard being a man. You're so many. That's why they run. They don't want to take up because it's hard being a man. But I tell you, it's much easier when you got God. Yes. It's much easier when you got God. It's hard when you're trying to do it by yourself. But if you go to the author, come on now, the one who blew breath in you, the one who gave you your being, yes. you ain't got to walk around with the questions. Uh, I tell my son, he said, Daddy, it's hard. I say, it ain't got to be hard. Huh? I was scared when I first stepped out there too. But when I found Jesus for real, yes. Come on now, gave me the hope and the boldness that I need to stand up All right. and to be the man yeah. for my family. Yeah. That my daughter can look me in the eye and say, I want to marry a man like my daddy. He opened the door for me. He bought me roses. Come on now, he tell me I'm beautiful. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So when somebody joking, tell us something, you ain't saying nothing, man. That's right. All right. <laughs> 
You ain't saying that the she used to that. You got to come with something better than that. I get a hell done. Amen. Come on, hundred fifty dollars a pop. Okay. Amen. Amen. That's all right. You ain't doing nothing. All right. <laughs> we got to realize that even women today they telling men, "Come on, be a man and handle your business," mm -hmm. but not realizing you telling a boy. Who's in a man body? Come on. Huh? They don't understand you telling a boy who's in a man body because ain't nobody never showed him how to be a man. Huh? Ain't nobody never taught him this is how a man should function. Go with me to first Samuel. We're going to go to some scripture because we're going to talk about some different scenarios of men of God being in place. First Samuel chapter 8, when you have a say, man.